Well, I, I find this a very emotional moment. Um, but I love the way that the Catholic liturgy embraces both sadness and hope. So there's a deep sense of sadness uh, because this is the end of an era, I think, an end of that partnership between John Paul II and Benedict that lasted almost 40 years. So that is now over. Uh, but also this ceremony is marked with such a resolute and strong faith in the promises of Christ that after death we enter a new phase of our life. And there's a lovely prayer there saying, Father, show now Benedict the face of Jesus and that he may be in peace and that we may be encouraged on our journey. So it's that combination of sadness and faithful hope. We do, of course, enter a new era or perhaps re-enter a familiar era where there is only one person who has been named as, as Pope in the world. How do you think Pope Francis' leadership might change from today? I wouldn't expect any change, frankly. I think Pope Francis has always been clear in his own mind as what he wants to achieve. He's a very determined individual, a steel that runs through the middle of Pope Francis. And I think his relationship with Benedict has been one of great affection and warmth, but not something that has, uh, as it were, uh, changed the way that he has approached his task as the Supreme Pontiff. So I think he will carry on in a determined way. He's already announced a full program for this coming year. Uh, and I think he will miss the presence of Pope Benedict because he's spoken of him as an elder brother and, and he'll miss his prayerful presence. But I wouldn't expect change in the way he leads the church. Do you think he will see as a precedent his predecessor's decision to retire or, or not? Is that a one-off or, or is it, could that now become the norm, do you think? Well, I, I think we have to understand it in the changing circumstances of how we human beings age. You know, now we can sustain life even when people are burdened with quite considerable uh, incapacities or limitations. So I, I think in that sense, if a Pope got to the point where he physically or mentally was just not right anymore, then I would imagine that there would be a further retirement to stepping down. But I, I think we, we should remember that Pope Benedict, when he stepped down, he was already 85 and he was aging and he knew his infirmity. So I think yeah, there might, this might well happen again in the future, but I wouldn't wait for some announcement from Pope Francis tomorrow saying I'm off. I don't think so. He's got an agenda. He wants to continue to follow it and develop it with great vigour. And finally, my impression of today was a great deal of warmth. People have repeatedly said to me they enjoyed this occasion more than they felt sadness. Yeah. How much do you relate to that? No, I, I, I think that's true. Though I must admit that for me, I knew Pope Benedict recently well, and, and I do feel a real sadness and a sense of loss. But I think that warmth also is a reflection of his personality. I think as we look back on his life, the thing that remains with people was he was a, a real gentleman. You know, he was a gentle man and he had not just great insight, but great sensitivity. And anybody who met him came away with that sense of a man who was warm, who was courteous, with who, to whom you could relate, no matter the difficulties that were being tackled. And I think that's what spread, as it were, among people today. They were saying goodbye to somebody who was just lovely.